new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you all right so randomly i ended up coming across this right now from what i can gather this is from back in uh 20 19 when this was actually uh i guess made when it was pushed out um i knew nothing about it because i was focusing on you know different stories but for whatever reason i ended up seeing other people basically talking about it and i was like there's no such thing as miss monopoly i'm like that sounds stupid now i'm pretty sure you know stating that and also looking at the title some people will be like why why, why is it stupid is it stupid because you know it's, it's a woman on the front no it's stupid because it says it's literally the first game where women make more than men. That doesn't make any sense. That literally doesn't make any sense at all. Like it, it just doesn't. And the game of Monopoly was just called Monopoly. It wasn't called Mr. Monopoly, the game where men make the most money. It, that, that wasn't the name of the game. It was just called Monopoly. It was whoever can sit up there and win is whoever's gonna win. So it doesn't matter what ethnicity, what religion you are what sex you describe yourself as if you got the dice and you got the money and you can just so happen to have some variables of luck hey you can sit up there and take over the board and bankrupt everybody and buy their property that's how the game is meant to be played this right here literally makes no sense this is what i talk about when it's the whole thing of quote unquote women empowerment i'm not exactly sure how this is women empowerment but I guess have at it right so they said the objective of the game right is to move around the board buying as many inventions as you can the more you own the more rent you'll be able to collect from other players if the game ends when the last invention is purchased then the player with the most money wins no problem with that you know that's cool right so then they stated what's different about miss monopoly women make more money than men who you are is up to you, but Miss Monopoly is offering women a higher payout at the start of the game and more money when passing go. So let's just dive a little bit into that, right? Where it says setup and it states number two, banker, pass out money. Give each woman $1,900. Give each man $1,500 and i'm like huh i'm like that doesn't make any sense normally when you play monopoly everybody gets the same amount of money equally even though the world is not equal monopoly in a sense was the only game where hey everybody's going to get the same amount you know you get to roll the dice and you know see what basically happens with the luck that you have have at it right and this one it's like nah we're going to give women some leverage we're going to give you a little bit more money than the man and then on top of that um if i can further go down if i remember correctly when women actually pass go i think they get an extra two to four oh there it goes so auction spaces go when you pass or land on go if you're a woman collect 240 dollars if you're a man collect 200 like i said before um i'm i'm not exactly sure what this game is supposed to teach women young women and little girls because realistically this is just going to put them in a hole where they think that automatically as soon as they jump out somewhere that hey i should automatically start off you know making more money nah that's not how it works it normally goes off of education it goes off of, uh, you know, sometimes associated with the college that you went to, more prestigious, you know, sometimes the higher payout or the more links, you know, that you might have. Realistically, the world works on who it is that you know, right? Not how much you know. Um, then the other thing is, uh, 
like I said before, if you happen to have any connections with, you know, different people, different individuals, uh, stuff like that. And also, especially if you are a hard worker, um, specifically dealing with labor intensive jobs, uh, those tend to be some of the jobs that pay the most money because it requires the most out of a person. And usually nine times out of 10, a lot of women are not going to go for, let's say, hard laboring jobs such as concrete laying, such as graveling, such as construction, such as pipe laying, such as being an electrician, such as working on an oil rig or a variety of other things. Right now, some people can state, yeah, variable wise, there are some women that are there. That's great, but we're talking about the overwhelming amount of women out here. We're going to be realistic here, and we know that women do not want to do physical labor. Yes, you have variables out there that are like, all right, I'll sit up there and do it. That's fine, but we're not about to sit up there and use them as shields to state that all women want to do physical labor. That's just not the case. That's just not the case because let a draft happen at this moment in time and i promise you pregnancy rates are going to go I'm sky so like i said um I, i'm not really sure <laughs> what um this game was really trying to accomplish uh it's pretty uh, i guess it's pretty good that i actually caught on to this late because good lord if this was me back in the earlier days of me uh doing videos who this would have been a whole different set at this moment in time let me tell you something. <laughs> this would have been a whole different set at this moment in time I, I probably would have went super deep in but you know like i said it is what it is you know at the end of the day and this is the type of brainwashing um that is going on that is being delivered uh to a lot of kids out here like i said this is this is nonsensical like it, it doesn't make any type of sense it just doesn't it, it it doesn't somebody needs to actually do a poll uh for all of the women out there and ask how many of them either they themselves bought it or family members or friends how many of their family i mean their their female counterparts have this within their home and i promise you it's not going to be a lot if any at all like I said, this more than likely barely sold. <laughs> this is more than likely why Monopoly does not even have it listed clear cut on their website for you to order. You have to order this literally on every other website, but the Milton Bradley website. So there's that. Like I said, even women don't support this nonsensical nonsense. Well, I'm just going to leave that there. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this video and everything that I listed in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video.